Hey everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. We are out here on an actual launch pad with an actual Mercury Explorer rocket. This is going to be our uh, second attempt at doing a flyby of Mercury. We've already taken the uh, pleasure of targeting the moon and we are just waiting for our relative inclination to sink to an acceptable level so that we can go ahead and proceed with the launch. I guess I should bump this time warp up a little bit. Okay, there we go. 0.25 looks good. Let's peg out the throttle. Let's adjust the staging to where it's supposed to be. Turn SAS on. Ignition sequence start. All of them are lit. Let's let the clamps go. And it's a little shaky, but we're off the pad. Alright. So it looks like we just need to slide right down the 90 degree corridor should be able to maintain that 0.25 relative inclination, which is more than adequate for a transfer to Mercury. Hmm. I was about to say whose orbit is really inclined, but I'm thinking of MOHO. Oops. Uh, I don't know how inclined Mercury's orbit is. Uh, I would assume it's off by a couple of degrees, but for the most part, uh, all the planets, of which there are eight infuriatingly, are uh, at a relatively uh, zero. Respect to the solar system median. Yeah, anyway. Uh, Pluto is really inclined, but Pluto's not a planet anymore. I, I don't respect that opinion. Alright, anyway. Uh, unless something goes tragically wrong, we're going to speed this launch up to post, so I will see all of you when we are making orbit. got a loss of thrust on one of our boosters again, which means it's probably going to fail. I'm trying to keep it under control. I'm trying to put the bad booster on the bottom so that it will just uh, aid in our gravity turn. There we go. Ease it back just a bit. Check our relative inclination. Yeah, we're more than a degree off now. Drag this back over a bit. Oh, come on. It's really fighting me pretty hard. I think that booster is going to fail on us. Part of it is, is that this engine is not going to shut down with the rest of them. It's getting better ISP, so we're going to have to shut it down manually when the other ones go. Otherwise, this is going to get real interesting real fast. But at least we're almost through their stage. about our inclination after, our relative inclination I should say, after these boosters cut out, coming up any second now, shut down, SEP, whew, alright, uh, we're not a whole hell of a lot of worse off than we were, just a bit though, uh, alright, our altitude is coming up on good enough. Our apoapsis, I should say, not our altitude. Our altitude is still pretty low. And I don't know if it's a conflict between scatterer and um, RVE as to why the oceans look like poop until you get to a certain altitude, but man, that, that's just, that's just gross looking. See, like now, very slowly, I guess it's a conflict between the color of the clouds and the uh, color of the oceans. Because, yeah, you just watched it real slow, faded right back into this nice, pretty blue that we've got going on here. Alright. I have to try to 
get our relative inclination back down a bit. And we can just level this out. Oh man, we can totally ditch our fairings and run our boot sequence. We lost a lot of Delta V. due to that booster. Uh, we are going much, much, much slower than I would like. Earth, activate. Oh, wait, no, we need to do it this way a bit. If we can. We'll get that down to something reasonable. That would be great. 1.26. It's about the best we can do, I figure. Now our apogee is entirely too high. Uh, we're coming up on stage cutoff here have to steer down quite significantly to make this work. Let's not forget to lock these. Alright, stage set. Ignition. Alright, we're good. We still got some... Yep, that tank didn't quite get locked. And the tank on the probe. No, I do not want the solar panels. I guess they are kind of all up in my business. My business, my business. Okay. Now we can... Why are these still firing? Where are you guys getting... I swear I locked those. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Ugh, this does not make me very happy. Because we're going to have to use a, a lot more from this hydrolock stage than I intended. And we need a good chunk of that for our transfer. Which sucks. What are you going to do? Alright, well. Only a bit of this left. I'm still probably going to speed it up in post. So, yeah, then, then there's that. All right, and here we are in orbit, 212 by 205, probably the most circular orbit I have ever achieved in the history of anything ever. So let's uh, select our primary, Mercury, and go to our maneuver node planner. Pork chop selection, ASAP, anytime now, or what's our lowest delta V, 116 days does save us about a kilometer per second, but we're not going to bother with that. Alright, how long until node? One hour. 6643.4? What do we got left? You know, these tanks are locked, so I won't really know. Let's disable the RCS and have a look-see. Yeah, 4,000 in this stage, 4,000 in that stage. We're good. We're doing this, provided, of course, an engine doesn't fail. Which it might. Knock on wood. God, please don't let another one of these RL-10s fail. Alright, turn the RCS back on. Let's turn the stability control off. And we'll spin to our node. Let's do a quick radio check. Right, everything there is good. All right, 
and more or less lined up. Let's go ahead and warp to our node. Just about. Oh no, no connection. That's not good. Oh no, we're gonna be right smack in the middle of the Pacific, aren't we? No, oh, we should have connection. We'll be good. We will be good. But yes, I was right. We will be right smack in the middle of the Pacific. Look at me, knowing stuff. A uh, little more than halfway through, we're going to go ahead and... I should have started this a second ago, but I did not. Alright, and they're lit. And we're just going to lean on these RCS thrusters also, because why the hell not? Go away, Nick Jim. That's very pretty. Jupiter and Saturn off in the distance, distant distance. That might be our uh, beauty shot for the day. I'll take it. All right. Uh, we'll uh, go ahead and unlock a tank or two and stage. Ah, uh, just staging mode. Stage set and ignition. AJ10 is lit. Thank goodness. Four grand left in this tank, so we've got more than enough for a correction burn should we need it. Hopefully, um, yeah, hopefully we won't. Absolutely we will, though. There's absolutely no doubt in my mind whatsoever. And my dog is really, really, really wanting some attention right now. <laughs> Go figure. All right. But, again, this is probably going to be a long burn, and uh, my dog is growling at me. So, I'm going to speed this up in post so you don't have to listen to this poor creature. He's sad that she's not getting any attention. Well, that's uh, a good chunk of it. Another 18 or so meters per second, which will hopefully do... Yeah, it's not too bad. On the back of these RCS thrusters. Ah, let's put it in rotation mode. Because it uh, feels kind of like we're a little unbalanced here. I know we shouldn't be, but it certainly feels that way. Alright, you know what? This is taking too long. Oh, well, did not see that coming.
<laughs> so, yeah, we're just going to stick with the RCS on this. All right. Uh, oops, wrong button. That's what I meant to do, because that's way prettier than before, isn't it? All right. Uh, that's going to do it for us today, guys. Uh, next time, maybe we'll be uh, doing some correction burns, checking on some things, and then uh, shipping out for Mars. That might be a few episodes out still, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, uh, thanks for hanging out, everybody. I appreciate it, and I will see all of you tomorrow.